Hey folks, hey everyone, welcome along. Welcome, welcome to some chill Lego building. My name's Luke. Hi, 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 hi. If this is your first time uh, watching one of these, we're just going to make some Lego. And uh, yes, I can hear my, yep, yeah, I can hear the lo-fi coming through the headphones, so that's good. Um, hello everyone in the chat. Hi, which is my, I've got a few webcams and I'm not sure which one is the right one. So I'm just going to poke my finger at them. But this one, this one. Hi, hello. Okay. Let me show you what we're building today. It's one I'm very excited for. Oh. There you have it. It is the Lego Ideas ship in a bottle. Looks pretty cool, right? Here's a picture on the back. <laughs> Here's something I want to draw your attention to straight away. Okay, folks. Ship does not float. Ship does not float. Okay? So don't don't be putting this, okay, in the bath. Don't be putting it in the ocean. Don't be putting it in a deep lake but in a deep lake because it will sink. It will sink and it will be lost. So don't do that. Uh, okay. Shall we crack it open and get started? Because I, I really don't know how long this one is going to take. Um, as you can see from the from the sort of the illustration on the back. Um, let's embiggen that, shall we? We're looking at a beautiful little ship in the bottle. You can see it's called the Leviathan. 32 guns. I don't know how many guns. Well, well, we'll count them as we go. Um, it's got this clear, it's in this clear plastic bottle, which is a um, unusual uh, thing for Lego. And the water, if you like, um, is, is all these little translucent blue bricks. So uh, it, it's a, it's a 900 and something odd uh, kit, but I'm guessing that like an enormous amount of that number is going to be these blue bits, which I don't have to build. So I, I really don't know how long it's going to take. So I just think we're just going to crack on. Uh, I might be able to get through this in one stream or it might be a multi-parter. I don't know. Um, but as always, we're just going to get building and see how we go. Gentle Mandrel says, hello, Luke. It's been a while. So nice to hang out. With the Spicy Sad Squad again, and also a model a model ship out of Lego bricks <laughs> to the tune of model ships. Super excited for this. Cool. Well, thanks for joining along. Um, Borgia Svensson says, but does the bottle float? I didn't even think of that. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. Uh, Angel Beat says, I assume it'll be ship shape in no time. And... Uh, Lady Shy Wolf says, Luke, so happy you're streaming. Uh, yeah, hello. Hi, 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 hi. Um, uh, oh, and Hunt ND says, my wife is gutted to miss seeing this live. She has a biology lab to run. Can you say hi to Jane in order to make her day? I will I will pass it along. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry your wife can't make it live, but a uh, biology lab is important. You know, you've got to... I don't know what you do in a biology lab. All I can... I know it's probably not this, but all I can think is dissecting frogs because I was raised on a steady diet of American high school drama. And there's always a bit where they dissect a frog. If there are any Americans viewing, did you dissect a frog in school? Is that real? Is there really a lot of frog dissection? Is it like an old school, like old timey thing and it doesn't really happen anymore? Give me the skinny on, on the frog. Uh, slicing. Uh, right, okay. Bag number one will be the one that we'll be starting with. I um, can already see some of the uh, plastic ship pieces here. Uh, let's break out. Okay. Teresa M says, yeah, in junior high. Thurry Weaver says, I dissected a squid. Uh, Secrets Lost says, I didn't, but my wife did. Okay. 
Yeah, seem, it seems like the sort of consensus is yes. Frog dissection. New Zealander here, we dissected cow's eyes in high school biology, but not frogs. I mean, yeah, I should say that I dissected my fair share of weird things in school. We did an eye. We did a lung. Um, we did a kidney. That didn't smell great. Okay. Bag number one uh, is going to be building the ship. Uh, so let's 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 build the bloody ship, shall we? Let's get the instructions down there. Uh, and bag number one. Okay, here we go. Let's get the bag foley. There we go. <laughs> Lindsay Langdon says, "Fetal pig here." <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Gosh. Well, I'm I'm sorry to have put the chat on such a dissection tear early on. That's not very chill, is it? The editorial promise is a chill stream, Luke. Here you are talking non-stop about frog dissection. Right, let's fill this jar with Lego pieces and it'll make a lovely sound. That's nice, isn't it? Uh, and then we have several supplementary bags full of smaller bits and bobs. I'm going to keep them separate just for a second until I sort of see what the situation is with them. Okay. And we're off to the races. Uh, okay, whereabouts is my sort of central sort of... Shall I zoom in? Because we're going to start off with some like fairly small... Small sort of bits and bob, buildy bits and bobs, I think. Okay, so first I want two of... First I want two of these pieces, so... Let's go digging. One. Two. Easy. Uh, and a long green piece. Just one of them. Goes on top. There we go. We're like... Halfway there. There you go, look. First pit first. Come on, camera. Sort your life out. Come on. Come on. Don't let me down. I know you can I know you can focus at that distance. Just don't act like you don't know what you're doing. Come on. See my hand? I know you can focus on that. There you go. So see? There's the Lego piece. There. Right? There you go. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a battle camera. Um I'm gonna crank up my light a little bit. It's gonna make me oh, there you go. There you go. I'm just increasing the ambient light. Give the camera more data to work with. Because be, to be fair to the camera, it is getting quite dark here. Look at that blurry Lego piece. Look how blurry it is. Look how unacceptably blurry it is. Why must you be so blurry? <laughs> Sorry that the stream so far is just... There we go, okay, right. Just fixing that in my mind. That's the distance at which we want to be focusing. That's fine. Okay, let's pop that there. Logan Hanlon says, Hi Luke, uh, have you been watching Our Flag Means Death? It's the pirate comedy with Reese Darby and uh, Taika Waititi and it's shaping up to be a rom-com. Uh, I haven't, but you know what? I've heard a lot of people saying uh, encouraging things about it, so I will track it down. Okay, now we need uh, one of these. There it is, easy. Two of these little brown lantern-y looking pieces. There's one. There's two. Let me know how the sound is, by the way. If everything sort of sounds ship shape, Bristol fashion. It's time to uh, pour out these little bits. There we go. Because the very first thing that we need are a couple of these little. There we go. That's more like it. Good focusing camera. A little bit. Uh, a couple of these little turquoise pieces here. So find them. Good. Take this, pop these on the side. No drama. 
Uh, and then these pieces go on the side here. What part of the ship are we building now? I, I can only speculate. But speculate I will. I'm going to say it's the capstan bar. Uh, okay, and then that goes on the end. Leaving one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there you go. Fine, fine and good. Uh, next. Zoom back in a little bit. There we go. There, that's the stuff. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Good. Right, now uh, just put a load more Lego on it, basically. So we can do that. Uh, so we just sort of make build, doing this in a little mini build and then just kind of strapping them onto the side. So that's fine. More turquoise pieces. Many more turquoise pieces. Okay, let's get them on there. Uh, okay, it's the same kind of thing as we were doing before, but now with some added red pieces. So, um, let's just fish out a bunch of the bits I need to save time. There we go. Good. More turquoise squares, please. Although, do I need... How many more turquoise squares do I need? I need one more. Where are you, turquoise piece? Could you be lurking in here? No, that's only... It's got a turquoise piece in it, but look, it's a it's a toozy, a toozy. Not what we're looking for. Oh dear! How long have we been going? Not very long. And I'm already stumped trying to find a piece. I really can't see it though. There you go. You can have a look. Can you see a turquoise one in here anywhere? I can't. Hmm. I may have to... I haven't done anything silly like... No, I don't think so. You only needed two more pieces, not four. No, no, I need four. Look. Here, four, four, four little, four of them. Um, might have to see if I can find one in another bag. That's weird. I mean, I doubt it's like load bearing or anything. I could probably, you know. Struggle on without it. Um, just looking at this bag now, just to sort of see if I can see any little turquoise ones. So dumb. Top of seventeen says you already you already put the turquoise pieces on one of the grey blocks. Unbelievable. This is a, this is the thing when you do when you do build Lego Live, you will occasionally do something really dumb like that. Oh well, that was silly. However, I'm actually relieved because I didn't want to be missing any pieces, and now I'm not. So apologies, everyone in the chat who was trying to communicate that to me. I'm sorry that you had to put it <laughs> in increasingly sort of basic terms for me to understand. But there we go. Right. Well, that can go back in there for now then. Sorry about that. Okay, slow progress so far, but we'll pick up the pace. 
we'll get into the groove. Okay, so we're going to put some red ones on the side here. And then the brown pieces there. I'll tell you what I did just start watching um, on TV. Uh, there's a uh, Italian language series. Um, it's going out on Now TV in the UK, but I have a feeling that HBO is involved in some way, so possibly it's viewable in the US as well or around the world. But it's called My Brilliant Friend. Um, I really love it. It's really good. Very powerful drama. Very, very good stuff. Um, uh, and the third season's just come out, so... Um, I would I would heartily recommend that if you're looking for something to watch. As I say, it is powerful. Not not always a not always an easy watch, definitely. But um, uh, yeah, powerful stuff. My brilliant friend was the name of that again. Uh, okay, now we're just looking for one more. These little brown pieces. And when I finally find it, we can move on. We can all move on. There it is. Good. Um, did you catch the new Pup music video that dropped today, Luke? Says Alex Samaras. I actually haven't watched it yet. I actually have not seen it. Uh, I'm excited though, from what I've seen on the, their social media. Um, it looks like another barnstorming effort. Um, so yeah, I, I, I can't wait. Um, it'll be my treat for the for after the stream. One of those now we want. And here we go. Here's a little missing. Uh, here's a little mi missing. That turquoise twofer that we were trying to. That I was so puzzled by earlier. There we go. Good. Ah, uh, oh, Simon Rag, uh, thank you very much. Says, have some pennies to get a beverage to recover from the natural one on the perception check and for being one of the nicest people on the internet. Gosh, that's kind. Thank you. Purple Llama says, uh, did you enjoy the Bahrain Grand Prix? Yes, it was incredibly enjoyable. Um, it was so desperately exciting. Um, really breathless stuff. I, I, I won't give any spoilers. I don't know, like probably there aren't. Loads and loads and loads and loads of F1 fans in the chat, so I won't bore everybody. There's a time and a place for that. Uh, and it's my WhatsApps with Mike. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I thought it was great. Um, really exciting, especially the last uh, few la um, 10 laps or so. Right, uh, I'm looking for this piece, by the way. This is what I'm sort of hunting down right now. There it is. Okay. Uh, right, so now Lego wants us to take this piece uh, and to pop a few bits onto, onto it lengthways, which is fine. Lego, I'm happy to oblige. Absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. I guess that could be a sort of bit of the side of the ship or oh, it could be anything really couldn't it um but we're going to take this and then oh okay this is interesting so this is going to go on here sideways like this see that okay something tells me i'm going to be doing that quite a few more times uh but for now it only seems to want me to do it the once as far as i can tell Skull and Boots says, Hi Luke, thanks for all you do. Could I get a shout out for my daughter May, who's eight? She's a big fan and always asking to watch some Luke. Uh, Bracket Sox Venture. Uh, yes, hello May. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, uh, gosh, eight years old. How amazing. What a, gr what a great age. What a great age. I hope you're enjoying it, May. And, and thank you for tuning in. I mean, it must be almost past your bedtime. I, depending on where in the world you are. Uh, right now, now I'm looking for two of these little. Can we can we get a tight tight zoom on? There we go. 
Two of these. Two of these babies. Okay, um... I've located one. Oh, they're sort of, they're gold. They're a gold, a rich golden color. So I'm gonna focus. Come on, you can do it. There we go, look at that. Lovely. Lovely bit of spit and polish on the brass. Nope, not one of them. There it is. I see it. Okay, cool. All right. What would you have me do with these? Lego gods. You would have me do this. Fine. I'm ha I'm happy to. Uh, right now, some of these um, brown corner pieces. Oh gosh, I'm just remembering building the um, the bonsai tree and just trying to like discern all the different pieces in the failing light. Uh, okay, so now I take it and um, just make sure this is rotated around the right way. And I think maybe I think for now I just sort of place these together. Um, now I'm looking for a little L-shaped little right angle here, and that's a flat brown piece. Boop, 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 boop. There it is. Easily done. Easily found. Um, and we'll use that to fasten these together. There we go. Clapper stopper overall. Jolly good. Jolly, 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 rogerly good. Okay, next steps. Where are we? Let's see now. A smidgen. Um, cool, we're doing this stuff now. Uh, so just finding these these pieces. Here's one of them, right off the bat, easy. Uh, and here's the next. I love it when you can just find them. Uh, right now I'm taking this thing that I built earlier. Um, and... Looking at it this way... Just wanna, th these are the kind of steps that are just worth really thinking about. Like when everything gets a bit sort of asymmetric like this, you really wanna just... Make sure you're not making any mistakes. But I don't think I have. I think that is, I think that is as requested by the instructions. Next, one of these. Here it is. There we go, I'm just gonna pop that on the side. Uh, right, and now we're going to add this to the overall thing. Uh, and we're going to do it like this. Aha! We have our first barely discernible bit of ship. This looks like the side of a hull to me, potentially. A whole lot of trouble. Right, so let's put that just to one side for a minute. Uh, next step is finding all of these various bits and bobs. So. A hunting I will go. One of these. Um, one of these dark brown little triangular ones. Yeah, one of them. One of these. Not that, but that. Oh, we're getting real fiddly here. But that's okay. That's okay. We live. We live for this stuff. Um, that's not what we want. Get it back in. We want that one. And one of these little lantern-y boys. Where are you? Reveal yourself. I summon thee. There you are. Whew. Right, let's put all these bits together. Oh, in some sort of order. Okay. Right. 
first. We pop this on here. I'll tell you what, we haven't done a click yet. So we do like a click for the for the audio. That felt like a good one. Um, <laughs> brilliant. Okay, and then all this goes on the end like that. Then we take this piece, pop it on the end. Um, take a, one of these. on the nope 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 first this little single spot goes on there and then that goes on there and that's that a little bit assembled right we're sticking that straight on apparently um so that is going to go where are you how exactly do you stay on my lego It looks like it just gets... Oh, look. Sort of softly pushes into these bits. Great. Look at that. We got ourselves a... Uh, a stern coming together, I think. Lovely. Oh, gosh. The chat enjoyed that click. Good. Good. Rory Steven says, you were a uh, comfort to me in sad times, especially the Demon Souls run. You inspired me to try streaming. I'm a writer of new fairy tales and write short stories live. It is structure I needed. Thank you. Rory Stevens, um, uh, well, congrats on, on, on starting the, the streaming. And uh, that sounds that sounds brilliant. Writing short stories live. Right, I write short stories live. Oh, my gosh. That's, wow, that's, um, I would find that quite daunting. That's excellent. Um, yeah, all the best with it. Um, and thank you for watching. Okay, here we go. This was this is easy enough. We've done this before. We've done this before, folks. Come on, give us something. I thought this was supposed to be hard, you know. Give us something. Give me a challenge, Lego. Uh, okay, now that is going to go on a boat <laughs> somewhere there I think yeah yeah that's the one cool cool it's just the same kind of thing as we've done on that side but on this side I imagine we will now be doing yeah some uh, similar similar sorts of steps uh George says hope you're doing good Luke can't stay but hope you and everyone in the chat will have a nice and chilly stream uh, I'm sure we will. And Dan Genders, thank you for the sticker. It's a pair dancing around, and 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 the pair is blowing on a um, one of those. God, what do you even call them? You know, the like party. What do you call them? Do they have a name? Par party flute. Horn, the horn of horn of plenty. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think they're called horns of plenty, aren't they? I think I'm right. Um, let me know the chat what they're called. Also, seeing as we're like building a ship, how about crack crack open Google in another tab and find me find me a, a, a modern language idiom that has um uh, that has naval origins. You didn't know there would be homework. Um, on this stream, did you? But there you go. I'm, I'm, I'm setting you a, a, a mid, an early stream assignment. Ooh, that was a good snap. Let's have some naval. Let's have some idioms that you, that you would be surprised to know have naval origins. Uh, okay, now whereabouts are you going on the thing? Oh wait, for, hang on. First, I need to put, put my bits and bobs on. You are not you are not the correct piece, my friend. I appreciate you. You are beautiful, but I do not need you now. Um I need one of these though. Good. Good. 
Good, 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 good. And one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. What's going on there? And now I'll put the whole kit and caboodle together. Is that going on just like this, just completely symmetrically? Oh. Oh, hang on. I put this piece on the wrong place. Yeah, there we go. Good. We've all we've done is mirror the other side, but there we go. It's it's coming together, isn't it? Somewhere in there are the the futtocks and the and the knees. Um other boat bits. Uh Minty asks says, Hi Luke, I GM Gravity Rip. Uh, fortnightly for my parents and it's one of our favorite activities currently prepping a wicked campaign too just wanted to let you know how loved and appreciated the game is that's amazing Mintia. that's uh that's so uh, flattering and lovely to hear thanks i'm 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 genuinely honored uh that you're that you're playing it with your folks that's that's terrific uh that's rad that's made my night thank you um okay okay I'm now looking for some some more of these kind of like little tiny, 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 tiny golden looking pieces. It looks like this gold, these golden ones are going to form some kind of railing. Um, this is an interesting piece. I'm not sure I've encountered one of these before. See that? It's kind of wedge shaped, but it's got these like gaps in it. So I need three of them, so I need to find two more. There's one. Ba -ba -da. There it is. Okay, let's just put this together. Uh, oh, sorry, I needed one more, one more golden piece of possibly railing. Uh, right, so I take this, and then these go like that on the little gold pieces. Fine. Okay. See if I can get a nice snap on this last one. It's not cooperating. Yeah, reasonable snap. Uh, cool. Right. Well, that, I mean, that looks very boatsy, doesn't it? Whereabouts is it going? Oh, cool. It's going right on the back here. That looks good. Ooh, that does look good. Look at that. And there, that'll be the, the captain's quarters. Might uh, break down a few... Take down a few walls to fit a few extra cannons out the back. Right, let me check in on my naval idioms before we go any further. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Von Blade says, top of the line. Jank LaRue says, three sheets to the wind. Adam, Adamus Prime Mitalinski says, son of a gun is one. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Specky Four Eyes says, no room to swing a cat. Nice. The cat of nine tails, of course. Topper 17 suggests, tied over. So does Puff Puff Adder. Thank you for those. Um, long shot, says Wei Han Lim. That's a good one. Long shot. That's good. 
Pass with flying colours, says Squawk the Griffin. Uh, excellent. <laughs> A cackling far apparently was an egg, says Nimble Tack. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Hunky Dory, suggests Helen Robinson. Hunky Dory, really? Wow, that's good. Arcane Tripwire says, pull your finger out, brackets, so the cannon won't blow it up. That's good. Sir Traline says, the slang term chunder for throwing up has naval origins. It's short for watch under. Watch under! When the dude in the crow's nest loses their lunch. Huh. There you go. Alex Samara says, didn't know taken aback and pipe down had nautical origins. Cool. There we go. All right, some great ones there. Thank you, everyone, for, for doing doing some Googling there. Um, right. Now it's time for me to do my work finding one of these smooth pieces, and I've done it. I've done it, and it's going on there. Great. Easy enough. Love it when it's straightforward. Now I'll find one of these black lantern pieces. There it is. Um... Okay, and now that is going right on the front here. See that? Just there. Interesting. Okay. Next. Our ship is coming together, slowly but surely. Now... Um... Doop -doop -doop. Doop -doop -doop. One of these it wants. Just one. But it's an unusual piece. What colour is it? Dark brown. Um, okay. Where the heckins are you? Ah, aha! It was bigger than I was than I thought it would be. Look at that. Come on. There we go. Interesting. And that is going on here. All right, good. More of these little light brown pieces. So I'm going a hunting in my jar. Two of those. One of these. This is easy enough, just stacking them. Oh, this is cool. This is going to be, I think, the front of the ship. The prow. Well, the, you know, the, the lowest part of the prow. Okay, next. One of these, one of these. I think we always knew that the uh, ship part of this was going to be the most... I have to say, actually, like, so far, it's all been quite straightforward, but I would say we don't have much ship yet, do we? I always think with Lego, you're, I'm always surprised at, like, how, like, uh, like, the core of a Lego build, you know, like the sort of center of it, uh, like how solid it always is, and you have to kind of build that solid stuff up. Um, and it takes ages, um, but that's all right. It's like a Dark Souls boss. If it's fun all the time, it doesn't matter how long it takes. If only they were all fun all the time. But a lot of them are fun a lot of the time. Right. Now, one of these, one of these, one of these. We are slowly diminishing the... Uh, here's how much we've got left in here, by the way. So we are cracking through. <laughs> cracking through. Okay. Three along. You. 
Show yourself. There we go. Show your moves. Do we think Captain Falcon is saying, show your moves, or is he saying, show me your moves? I always thought it was, show me your moves. Show me your moves. But he just says the sort of me so quickly, it's all kind of all blurred together. Show me your moves. So, I don't know. But then I do see people saying, show your moves. So... Yeah, it is hard to know. But I welcome any thoughts on the subject. Uh, right, where on earth are you going then? You can't possibly be going. That can't be right. Oh, you go on this way round. Right. Okay, cool. All right. Show me your moves. Although Book Golem says, I reckon it's show ya moves. <laughs> Mr. M. Binder says, put thine actions on display. Um, <laughs> Sam Barn says, you're making good progress. Don't worry, at this stage it's supposed to look like a piece of ship. Amazing. Mr. Team Corvette in the chat. D uh, hello, Dan says, This stream proves once and all that our TV can show more than just that new Elden Ring show all the time. Yeah, my TV has this weird defect as well at the moment where, like, it seems to be stuck on the Elden Ring channel. Um, I'm only doing one of these, right? Yes. Okay. Onwards and or upwards. One of these. One of these. Stick them together. What do you got? The ship's knees, the bee's knees. Uh, now one of these. Pow, 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 pow. You are going to just lie alongside, more naval terminology, your mate there. Uh, while I find another one of you. There you are. And you'll just go on top, oh, kind of overlapping. Interesting. Oh, look at that. What do you make of it, folks? Curious. Curiouser and curiouser. Uh, cool. Now, build more Lego. So, we get a one of these. We get a one of these. We get, no, you're the wrong, that's the wrong, that's the wrong way around. We don't want you... But if you if you have a friend, if you have a, an opposite mirror dimension, buddy, we want your mirror. We want your evil mirror dimension twin. At least I think we do. Yeah, we do. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Here it is. Good, good, good. Okay. Take this. Do the do, do, do. do the thing. Zuli, do the thing. Um, good. And then that is gonna go on there great now one of these pieces a little ship is coming together slowly slowly but also surely there we go uh puff puff adder says i'm trying to avoid elden ring spoilers but it's everywhere man tell me about it i i mean i the thrill, the thrill for me in those games is just the sort of fighting and the exploration and the, and the discovery. It's kind of Breath of the Wildy in that way. So like, I'm not too worried about spoilers. Like I haven't finished it yet, uh, although I am close. But I already know like all the different endings. I know like everything that's coming up basically. Uh, although I do have it, you know, I do have a sort of slightly unusual obligation in playing it and that I'm, I am sort of trying to like harvest as much good footage as possible um, so you know I really do want to like see as much of the game as I can in a single in a single run through right that's going on there now and that looks absolutely brilliant and can I just say that is starting to look quite ship shape look at that lush it does not float 
ship does not float. Please be aware. <sighs> okay. Okay, good. Next, build more Lego. Uh, one of these pieces here. One of these pieces here. One of these light brown pieces here. That's fine. That's fine. It's all fine. Stick you on there. Stick you on there. And are you going straight onto the boat proper? I think you are. It's a similar kind of move to the one I just did on the other side. So we're just, we're just now building up, shivering down these timbers. Okay. Yeah, this is... We are now do. You know, I said I need, like, the kind of evil mirror version of that other piece. I think shortly I will be deploying it. Right, so you go there. Let me need to find one more of you. Got it. Easy. Uh, now we need one of these. And now we need one of these. And now here it is, folks. There it is, right there. What's it asking for? It's asking for the evil mirror dimension version. And here it is. Dun dun dun. Look at it. It's got a little. It's got a little pencil moustache. It's got a little beauty spot. It's got eyeliner. All the hallmarks of utter evilness. Pop that on there. That was a satisfying thunk. Uh, and then you go on there like that. Again, this is what we've what we've done already, but in reverse. So no need to over-explain it. One of you and. One of you, and you're going on the side here. I just have no idea how people design Lego sets. Like, how would you even... I'm sticking, like, the just the, just the angles, and... I mean, you must have to be so immersed in the Lego world, like, in general, to, to sort of make it work. The lines on this ship, I'm finding very satisfying. Look at that. That looks really good. Pleased. Great. Oh. Um, Martin uh, Stunenberg says, Hey Luke, your streams got me back into Lego during my burn out a while ago. Good therapy, expensive therapy. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing with Lego. It's so chill and it's so nice to do, but um, yeah, I mean, if you, especially if you start getting into the kind of more obscure and I think more interesting sets, it can be a bit punishing on the old, the old bank account. This is exciting. We're building up in 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 short order. Look at this. We are building up the sides of the ship. That took hardly hardly any time at all. We have. We, we, the, I believe the hold, the, I believe the hold is stowed. Uh, so I guess this will be like, well, I don't know, gun deck now, I guess. We've got a nice quarter deck forming here. Um, right, good. Sounds good. Okay one of you we'll have one of you oh these are going straight on as well okay 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 so you're going in there well now that's peculiar that feels very odd to me but i mean i guess they know what the right okay no it makes it's going to make sense 
Um, I was confused because you can see what we're doing. I'm sort of putting these pieces on down here, but as you can see, they don't fill. They're sort of not symmetrical. They're leaving a space down here. But in a moment, it's going to. We're going to pop a long, thin piece down there and and fill it up. Good. Okay. Um, right now we need two, just little, just two little gold pieces. There's one, and there's t'other, uh, and they're going to go in these gaps. So they are now kind of. Oh well, I think we know. I think we know where the masts are going to go, don't we? Excellent. Excellent. Air of Wildfire says, perfect stream to accompany my apprenticeship coursework and chill out with. Nautical idiom, copper bottomed. Something that's very safe or secure. Very good. Very good one. Um, there's no, the, you notice there's no copper, no copper on the, uh, on the hull or the keel of this, this ship. Um... Maybe it predates that sort of stuff. Who knows? Uh, right, now here's that long piece. Now this, this doesn't actually clip in, which is bizarre. It just pushes in there. See, look, falls right out. But don't worry, I'm sure we'll be sort of pinning it in with other pieces momentarily. Okay, one of these, three of these, two of these. Here's, here's the status, by the way, of the, so, you know, getting through it. One of these, three of these, that's one, two, three, good, good. <laughs> Don't play with matches, says it would get barnacles if it was real. <laughs> it Well, it would. That's the tragedy. But you know, and kelp. It'd be trailing a, trailing a big, you know, thing of weeds. Slow, slow it down significantly. Right now, this goes on here. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if that we're going to get a little. We're probably not going to get a little ship's wheel. I think that might be too fine detail, but you can sort of see we've. You can kind of use the silhouette, of um, of what we've done here. It's very pleasing. Okay. Uh, Mohammed um, uh, Medat Salem says, Hey Luke, thanks for all the last. Started watching when I started my PhD through COVID and now I'm an associate associate professor. It still helps me say, stay sane. That's terrific. Wow. What incredible personal growth. Congratulations on, on the associate prof status. That's terrific. Um, and, and glad that the... Glad that the streams were helpful. Okay, one of you. Green, a green piece, if you can believe it. There we go. And then one rod, I think, is what it wants. No, one of these. One of these short ones, I think, would know. There we go. An unadorned, straightforward little Lego cylinder. Interesting. I think we might be about to take take it to Mast Town. Oh no! Wait, no. I think we're doing the flag. That's exciting. Um, so this goes in here. That goes on there. This clips on here. <laughs> <laughs> this should be a good clip. Ooh, understated. Subtle, I love it. But look now, look now our ship has a flag. Putting it at a slightly jaunty angle. Editorializing slightly. Folks. It's time for sales. It's sale of the century. Uh, okay. One of you. These are the, I think these are going to be the 
the sail pieces, by the way. That's cool, isn't it? We'll have that. We'll have a one of you. Uh, and then we now we need another one of those unadorned rods, I think. Just nice and straightforward. Easy. I've got I've got these um, rod pieces that kind of have a little, you know, look a little bit like swords. And that's not what we're after on this occasion. We want a simple, unadorned. Oh gosh. Well, here's one. It's really short, though. Is that the same length as? <gasps> that's even shorter than this one. I hope I haven't put the wrong one on there. Although, how would I tell? Just gonna look at it again. Mm. It is very dark compared to, I think maybe I was supposed to use this one. I think maybe I've got these the wrong way around. <laughs> what do we think? Does that look like the kind of dimensions of the flag? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Right. Marcus Cox says, have a lovely day and enjoy your Lego. Thanks very much. I will. I am. Uh, stick that on there. Sales. Good. And now this is going on here. Now, I'm not very good at names of sales. Let me, um, let's get up a diagram, shall we, so we can try and name these, um, uh, square rigged ship sails. Oh gosh, right, okay, um, need a labeled diagram. Okay, so this one, this one up here, this will be the well, it's one of the jibs. Inner jib, outer jib, flying jib. We probably, I think we're reducing all the jibs to just one sail. Um, cool. TJ Telly says, Ah, oh, five dollars for snacks, thank you. And a quick Elden question. Do you know if Andy is still using the fire and magic sword he, he was using before the nerf? I want to use it, but I'm unsure. Um, Andy is still using it, but he's, um... He's finished the game now. So, like, he kept using it, I know, like, even after it was nerfed, because he was so close to the end. Um, but he says it, it. He says that it ha has been nerfed quite, quite significantly. So, I, I mean, I don't know. If it, if it was, if, if, if I was in that situation, I think I would shop around for a different weapon. Um, but you know, follow your heart if you like it. If you like it, you like it. Just try it out. Just try it out. Although, you might have to respect to even use it because it's got very odd, unusual stat requirements. Okay, right now we're putting some decking down, which is tremendously exciting. So I'll pop that there. And then this piece is going to go... Which way up do you want to go? This way up, I think. Uh, and then this is going to... This is... Cool. Great. Great. Nice. It's coming together, isn't it? Right, now we want six of these little gold claw pieces. Six of them! One, two, three, four, five, where's my sixth? Six, and then, oh gosh, six of the, six of these little brown clippy ones. One, two, Four, five, six. 
six. And then, oh my gosh, six. Six of these very unusual. Look at this. Look at this piece. You see that? It's like... I don't know how to describe that shape, but it's unusual. Six of them. Whew. One, two, three, four. I'm going to take a drink of water when I've found my sixth one. Five, six. I've been procrastinating having a drink of water, which is ridiculous. There we go. Okay. Cat from the Kong says, any unreleased games you're particularly looking forward to? For me, it's the new Fable game, which will totally happen. No, you sound unsure. Good question. Um, hmm. Well, Breath of the Wild 2, I'll be honest, is the one that's sort of probably, you know, a little obvious. I wish I had a cooler, more indie suggestion. Um, but there isn't one springing to mind right now, and that is the game that I am most anticipating. It's in an oh, these are this is so I put this together, and then it wants me to like fold, fold, fold it over like this. That's interesting. <gasps> is there a chance these are? Oh my gosh! Do you know what? I'm just thinking. I bet. I bet that is going to be a little cannon, and this is a um. Uh, like a, you know, a sort of a port lid. You know, you sort of raise this. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Cool. Exciting. Now we now we really can count its uh, complement, the broad side weight of metal. Uh, okay, so we've got to make... We've got to really farm these out a little bit. Yeah, Breath of the Wild's in an interesting position, really, because... Um, obviously, like, I'm so up for just more Breath of the Wild, but I think now that Elden Ring is out, and Elden Ring really has, uh, I think... You know, it's the only open-world game that I've played that is as good as Breath of the Wild and and does and succeeds in the same way that Breath of the Wild did in the way that like you can just it, it in the way that it's enormous this enormous open world that feels very authored and you can just trust if you run off in any direction that that the game is going to entertain and surprise and delight you which Elden Ring has and and does uh, although often in more sort of horrifying ways than Zelda but um but yeah I just it, it it's raised the stakes, I think is probably the the neatest way to put it. Right, we're putting the guns on. This is absolutely brilliant. Let me try and get you a nice clear view of this. Oh, Nick DiDiego reminds me, new Kirby this Friday, Luke. Of course, of course. Yes, Um, I haven't played the demo, but I hear it's absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, I am... I'm well up for a sort of 3D Kirby, and it's like, it's exactly my jam, because it's it's set in a, it's set in the real world, right? Or it's set in, like, Earth, but, but, like, everything's gone to ruin, so it's, like, weirdly dark and dystopian, I think, uh, which is my favourite kind of Nintendo game. Uh, I've had the, Kirby, like, Kirby music stuck in my head all week. I found on Spotify there's a, um... In fact, you know what? Why don't I put the link in the chat so that you can mute me and um, um, and just listen to this instead. Where is it? Yeah, here we go. Share, copy album link. There you go. I'm putting a Spotify link. Look. On spot on Spotify, Kirby 25th Anniversary Orchestra Concert. The Tokyo Philharmonic Orchestra performs 25 years of Kirby music. And boy, is it better than you think it's going to be. Uh, so I've been listening to that while, um, while I've been working. And, uh, well, it's, it's, it's just been, it's been a delight. Right, we've put, oh, we've put, we, amazingly, 
we have guns. Uh, these look like full uh, um, cannons to me, rather than um, you know car shorter carronades. Maybe a few, maybe a few long nines hidden in the in the captain's quarters. Okay. Well, great. Well, that's done. Now, excitingly, it looks like we're going to be making we're going to be making sail. So we want one of these, one of these little pieces, and this is going to slide on the bottom like that. Okay. Next, getting quite technical now, with some unusual pieces. One of those and a one of these. So then we take this and put that on sideways like that. And then that whole assembly goes... Ah, oh, there we go. Are we going to focus on that? There we go. Thanks, camera. We got it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty nifty. Um, Meeple of Britain says no hype for Lego Star Wars. Only two weeks away. <laughs> I didn't even. I hadn't even clocked that. But that's good. Um, love a Lego game. They are always a good time. One of these pieces. What the heck is that? Oh, it's like a. I mean, it looks like a telescope. I don't think it's going to be, uh, you know, sort of used, deployed as a telescope. Um, in fact, it's, you know, it's kind of sort of going on the end here. It's cool though. Uh, right now, some more, a couple more of these little technical pieces. Um, in the same position as before. Feel like I should moot, uh, moot, mute my lo-fi music bed so that um folks can put on the Kirby 25th anniversary concert uh, and still hear me talking, but with back, you know, sound, but soundtracks to the, to the Kirby Orchestra. Uh, I won't do that though because I absolutely can guarantee I would forget to turn it back on afterwards. Um, okay. Right, sales now. So we want four of these. One, two, three, four. Two of these long pieces. Oh, wait, hang on. Which? Yeah, not that one, but this one. Uh, and then two of these pieces with the, look at that, with the sort of seahorse insignia on it. Let's get a close up on that. Cause look how shiny. Ooh, a shiny golden seahorse. Uh, two of those. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So my job is to take one of these And then clip on the sails. Okay. Just enough room along the Just sort of slightly reposition those. There we go. Good. I don't know what I'm trying to show you on that camera. There you go. Excellent. Um, okay. Now I'm doing that twice. Fine. Ba, 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 ba. Good. Now I'm taking this and I'm attaching these. This is very satisfying. 
This is very cool. <gasps> brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh. Oh, gosh. Okay. It's a bit delicate, this. Just trying to sort of square the yards. There you go. That was a that was a little delicate and fiddly, but we got there and it looks great. Um Am I now doing this whole thing twice? Yes. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh I'm gonna put one in just so that you know, so that I feel like a lot of progress has been made. Hey, that's probably enough sales, right? We don't need we don't need to do another one. Right, so let's pop that down there and do all of that again. Okay. Whew, let's check in with the chat. Nick Jeffrey says, Hey Luke, hope you're doing well. Not keen on playing Elden Ring myself. Love your enthusiasm for it. Also, hope Ellen is feeling better. Um, thanks very much, Nick, Je Nick Jeffrey. Yeah, um, well, it's a good job you like my enthusiasm for it because there's a lot of talking. <laughs> Check in with the chat, and you've all got you've all got onto a crow's nest tear. Crow, 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 mid crow, mid crow night. Da da da. Gosh. Referencing a goose goosebump stream we did on Outside Extra. If, if anyone, I mean, I'm sure. You're all aware, but in case you're not, that's why I'm talking in this extremely peculiar way. Right, I'm doing all that again. Just can't get enough. Can't get enough of these steps, can I? Bloody love them. Uh, just go on there. You just go on there. Yeah, and you're a happy camper. Okay. Now, I'm going to try and get these really, really, really lined up neat at this stage this time because trying to sort of adjust the sails uh, when I put them on to these bits was um, tricky. Okay. Okay. One of these peculiar pieces, and that's just gonna go in the top. Good. Right, and then make do what any speedy ship needs to do and make more sail. I wonder if this is going to leave me with, like, spare sail pieces, which I can guarantee I would not ever find a use for. Okay. Right, that's one. It's interesting that these, that these sails are actually made of three pieces that you obviously have to kind of, like, line up quite delicately. And another, and another thing, and another sail. Good. Right, that's two sails built, so now just 
Oh no, I put these bits on the wrong way around. I need to swivel them, which means all my exact precision is all for naught. We plan the gods laugh. There we go. Our second sail is being plugged in. Ooh. Being plugged in this directly minute. Ooh. Let's bring this one down a little so that it fits in. I have to bring it down more than that. Great. Oh, well, it's a snug fit, but look at that. Lush. A thing of rare beauty, is it not? I love it. Okay, now, just for a change, we're making a sail. Uh, we are, however, approaching the end of the ship building portion. Excitingly. Um, what page are we on? We're on page 37 of... 151? <laughs> okay, I'm thinking this is probably going to be several streams after all. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm just sort of skipping ahead a little bit. It's the... the I think the bottle is not that intricate, but the base is, um, the base is looking pretty intense. Um, we'll keep going for a little while longer though. See where we, just see where we get to. We'll just pause when it feels, when it feels natural. Okay. So take you. Good. <laughs> Niv Miz at 89 says, isn't the usual ship in bottle strategy to assemble the ship inside the bottle? Oh my god, I've done it the wrong way around. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm glad we don't have to do that. That would be so difficult. Uh, okay. Now push this on there. There's nothing keeping that on there. Except. Except a bit of goodwill. Uh, right, and then this is a little sort of. Crow's nesty alike piece here, I think. I just slightly just move my camera. Will I regret doing this? Is it gonna ruin everything? It's the kind of thing that would ruin everything, isn't it? But there you go, just there you go. Just give you a slightly better view of where my more comfortable build building spot is. Good. Uh two sails. And one Long poking stick. It really is a very long poking stick. Okay. Good. Good, very nice. And then we just pop that neatly. Click on there. And we have ourselves a foremast. Oh, I'll tell you what though, I'm gonna have to fold these sails down a little bit to make it make it fit. There we go. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Gotta be delicate there. Woo! Again. That. 
is very charming. That's the ship finished. That, yeah, that is it. The ship is done. And quite an undertaking it was as well, but let's just have a nice... Let's just give it the nice slow rotation treatment, shall we? Really enjoy it from every angle. Especially like the back. Lovely. And the kind of metallic finish on those seahorses on the sails. That's nice. Great. Great, but there's no rest for the wicked, is there? Bag number two. Bag number two? Oh my gosh, there's so many very similar clear looking pieces. Chiffle Spider says, does this set come with a rum ration? I'm going to need a rum ration. Look at, look at these. Can you see in there? I kind of hoped that the um, that the bottle portion would just be like two big pieces, and I could just be like, "Click done." But uh, but no, it's a bit more intense than that. Tell you what, let's empty out my. Um, these are the spares. Let's empty those out. Okay, let's do it. Oh my gosh. It's like I've got a broken bottle in here. I've got to put it back together, but way more terrifying are these bags. <gasps> Look at that. Nick Jeffrey says, I thought bag two was going to be filled with water. <laughs> oh man, I'm... This genuinely looks like, on camera, this looks like a sort of bag of, like, stolen diamonds or something. Okay, that is a lot of little tiny clear pieces. Well. Let's just go for it. We start with one of these pieces here. I'm a bit worried I'm going to get this really fingerprinty, to be honest. But oh no! And now I want now it wants three. Okay, I am going to have to break into these. I might just try and just keep these like out on the table, which, as I say it, is sounding like a terrible idea. But I just think that like I'm never going to be able to find these bits if I if they're like in amongst all of the in amongst all of this. Oh, God, that's a lot of them. Okay. Right. Three. One. Two. Okay, we've, we've made our first thing. Good, now take two singles. Oh no, you want me to do the single pieces as well? They're all in here. Ooh. This, this bag is not, this kit even is not. Not messing about. Okay. Oh, God. Please don't go everywhere and all. Please don't fall off the desk. And just all just stay together, please. Please, please, please. Okay. Two of these pieces. 
One, two. Okay. Now these little clear lantern pieces. One, two. I mean, at least so far, they're all all the pieces are quite samey. So that's you know. So this could go a bit faster. Maybe than I'm thinking. Now it just wants four. Four of these ones on the side. One and one. Two lanterns. Uh, <laughs> Amaritid, uh, sorry. Amaritidine says, I really do not expect the bottle to have quite so many tiny parts. Shards? Yeah, I think shards is the word. Here's what we got. Here's what I've built. Marvel at, marvel at it. Uh, right, now, three of these to go on top. One. Two. Three. It's very pretty. I will say that. I'm enjoying working with the clear plastic. Framing up my build. It's nice. Okay. Right. Done. Next page. Now, take take another one of these. Pop it on top. I think we're doing this. I think I think we. This is going to be the same same sort of process. One. Yeah, you can see what we're trying to do here. We're just sort of. Oh wait, hang on. Or can you? There you go. We're, I'm not on this step at the moment, but you can see we're just building and building up, like putting this piece on the top and then like building up the sides. One, two. Mustn't these count? Three. Four and the lanterns. One, two, and four of these little ones. One, two. Again, dirty. Um, one, two, three, four, two more lanterns. Tell you what, I, it's, it, it must just be my imagination, but I'm sure these these clear piece, pieces feel sharper. <laughs> uh, uh, that doesn't look right. Damn it, that's not right. I've used one too many, um, come on, there we go, I used one too many of these tiny one pieces on the side, it's alright, good job we caught it, so now, ooh, lay this down like that, and now take eight lantern pieces and eight clear cubes, 
which I can do. Let's find, let's find them. One, two, three, Eight. This is bonkers. And then eight clear, clear cube pieces, which are like, <sighs> come on. If I could just find one, maybe I'll get my eye in. I'm going to give myself eye straight. Oh, they're in this pile. So you see, like these, are these are the two things that I'm looking for here. Subtly different. <laughs> so eight of those little cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then what do I do with them? Well, I take a cube, strap it to a lantern, take another cube, strap it to another lantern. Take another cube. this right? I think I'm pretty sure this is right. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> yeah, the lantern piece. This is very um hard to keep straight in my head. Okay, I've made this. Whew. Angel Beats says, Lego, please, why do you do this? <laughs> Uh, Shar Violet says this is already a nightmare for me, and I'm, and I'm not the one building. Asher uh, Otter says Lego, you need to explain yourself. Yeah, I feel like what I'm making here. I feel like this could all just definitely just be one like one piece that they give me in a bag, you know. <laughs> okay, but that's fine. So I've done that, and then am I making one two? Need to elongate this slightly. Good. See that? Now I'm making. Uh, now I've made that. Now I make another one. Exactly the same. Which is fine. I'll take no time at all. Dear Lego. What gives? What gives with this bit? Okay, there we go. Got I've, I've I did as you asked, Lego. So now I take what I had built so far and these this apparently fits on the side. Oh yeah, I guess it theoretically can. It's just really hard to see. Can you sort of see what I'm like? I'm trying to like click this into this. Yeah, and it will go. There's just a lot of individual little pieces in the mix there that like if they're not sort of twisted exactly flush. Um, we'll uh, we'll not play ball. Right, okay, and then the other side. Patience. Patience and fortitude, Luke. Okay, good. I think... 
that's what they asked for. Look, it's we've got a 1-1 one, one scale model here. Well, that's satisfying. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> Cheerful Spider says, top mime work, Luke. <laughs> Edward Ling says, not even Dark Souls is this hard. Well, we've made this much of the bottle. <laughs> what now? Look at, all this, look at all these pieces. All right, nothing for it but to get stuck in. Okay, this is what it wants us. This is what it wants from us now. Make more, just make more. Take one of these, then take two of these, and call me in the morning. Okay, I've done as you asked. Lego. Let's just move the ship out of the way. There's no time for fun ships now. Uh, right, then two more on top. I'm making a sort of standard kind of brickwork pattern here. Continue adding bricks to the brickwork pattern is what the next step says. I'm 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 all for this to be honest, because like the, the this is easy to do and we're chewing through this enormous to do pile of little bits and pieces. Okay, now put then these are lantern shapes along the length of it. Okay, good. Whew, fiddly. I hope this stream is still chill. Let me know in the comments if I've accidentally made the vibe intensely stressful. I hope not. Right now, for these little ones, so we put two of the two of these little oneies on top of each other, and then a little sloping piece, and then that is going to go. I feel like we're making some kind of corner or something. Angel Wee says, "Yep, still chill." Phew. Cool. Do that again. Do it the same. Okay. And then just put that there. Okay. There you go, Lego. I did as you asked. Now, I'm okay, so I'm doing this. I'm, I'm not quite finished with this piece, but then I am also doing the whole thing again. I'm also then, it wants me to do the whole thing one more time, which is okay. So one, two, and then these ones. What's everyone up to, by the way? I imagine a lot of people watching this aren't, won't be sort of purely focused on me doing this. So what's everyone up to? What do you, what are, if this is on in the background to something, what is, what, are, what am I the background to right now? Let me know. I want to know what you're doing. Tell me of the world outside these... <laughs> these punishingly sharp, impossible to see, millions and millions and millions clear Lego pieces. Ow, ow. Okay. Lanterns along the top. Ooh, everyone's saying now. Playing some chill star, Stardew Valley, says... Um, oh, 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 says Thomas Kasman. Marcus Cox says, finishing my work day. Always a good moment when you're about ready to punch out. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, it's sharp. Uh, Chris Park says, you're the background to Breath of the Wild in bed. The dream. Uh, Elden Ring, he, 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 says, uh, Huey. Wait, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Apologies if I didn't. Um, Minute Elsa's just finishing up Minecraft for the evening. Oh, that sounds like a lot of people are playing 
video games. Um, Phil Beast is currently playing some Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Monkey's Forever says working on a comic I'm writing. I can't draw, they're all stick figures. <laughs> no, that's okay. Annika Brock currently getting killed by archers in Elden Ring. Uh, Nick D. Yeager says Legends Ar Arceus. Arceus just went through an Eevee outbreak. Oh no. Oh no, an Eevee outbreak. What do you do in the case of an Eevee outbreak? Just run. Okay. Uh, yeah, now I'll sort of pepper the sides of these with more twos and ones. Great. Okay, we now have two of these. And if we take our... Um, So the, this is going on the side. Which it will hopefully clip neatly onto. Come on, Lego, do me a favor. Clip neatly on, won't you? There we go. Whew. And on the other side as well. Okay. Here's what we've got. As you can see, a dense lattice of very small and fiddly clippy. This looks like a um, circuit board or something. Uh, Cat from the Kong says, I always find it fun to think there's people all over the world in all sorts of countries having their mornings, evenings, lunches, and enjoying it with me. Go hive mind. What a nice comment cat from the corner You're absolutely right hot shame says i'm currently writing jokes for my stand-up routine with this on in the background nice i'm currently painting an airfix spitfire says kieran levitt oh nice i love the uh smell of airfix glue uh in a well ventilated room obviously okay i've done as you asked what now make like a million more similar things. Fine, it's right. I'll do it. I'll let you think I'm gonna cave. You think I don't have it in me. Hey. You don't know who you're dealing with, Lego. I did the Nameless King, right, in Dark Souls 3, so. I did that dragon who I always want to call Alduin from the DLC, but that's not his name. Every single time I think of that dragon, I have to Google his name. I cannot hold it in my head for some reason. Chat, what's that dragon's name? The Dark Souls 3 DLC dragon. What's he called? It's not Alduin, but it's like Alduin. It's too similar to Alduin. Midir. Dark Eater mid here. Thanks, Alex F. And everyone else. Right. Now it wants these real kind of sloping pieces just popped on the side. And I'm only too happy to oblige. Because I did the Twin Princes in Dark Souls 3, so... <laughs> So it's fine. All right, here's another one. Here's another test for the for the souls, as you like. What's the one in Dark Souls 2? It's sort of about a third of the way through the game, and there are three of them. No, two of them? No, I think three, yeah, there are three of them. You drop into a room, and there are three of them, and they're sort of like, I wanna say like kind of gangly robots. <laughs> they're not, but like, they were a hard one. And I did them 
And they're dead now. The Ruin Sentinels. Alex F. Wow, you are on it. Yes. I don't know if they're considered a particularly difficult boss, but they see, you know, they seem, they seem a little spicy to me. Okay. Right, that's what I've done there. I didn't really narrate that because it's pretty similar to what we've been doing, right? You know, it's just more... And now it wants me to put like lantern pieces in all along the side of it, unsurprisingly. But that's fine. It's good if anything. Here we go. Right, six of those are in. I'm gonna have to do all this again, aren't I? That's okay. That's okay, because I did the Orphan of Cos in Bloodborne. <laughs> eventually. So, and I'll eventually do this. Right, just applying more studs to the edges. Okay, that looks correct. I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to also like be a bit careful here because I don't want to slip up for, for sort of trying to rush through these less interesting pieces. Um, because if something goes wrong here, it is going to be almost impossible to go back and try and figure out where I went wrong because like I can't even tell like where one brick ends and another begins in this frankly okay click click add more twos just keep adding more twos there we go, one there, one there, sloping pieces on the side, lovely, and you did get that string fish, says Danny McNamara, yeah, there's that too. Uh, Nick Jeffrey says, I'm debating how long to leave the covering on my arm for after dialysis. Too soon and it could bleed. Too long and I lose too much arm hair. Oh, gosh. That's quite a dilemma, Nick Jeffrey. Um, well, I certainly don't know. <laughs> I certainly can't be of any help there, unfortunately. Um, well, I don't know. I don't want it to bleed, but then, oh, there's nothing... The, that that feeling of having to um, sort of pull off a plaster and, the, and the, all the arm hair coming off. Oh no. Think about it this way, Nick Jeffrey. There's no wrong choice. Unless there is. Sorry, that was terrible advice. That was the advice of someone who has no advice to give, um, but for some reason feels uncomfortable with saying, I have no advice to give, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I should have just said, I don't know, I simply don't know what to do. Um, okay. But, whatever happens, I hope your arm feels all right. I hope the dialysis went well. Okay. Clippity clippity clip. Now, more of these twosies. Let's try and get a nice click. We haven't got a nice click in a while. Oh, that wasn't a nice click at all. Oh dear. Let's try another one. Oh no, that wasn't that wasn't a good click. 
These are all clicking on, but for, for such sharp pieces, these are all clicking on very softly. It's all right, we'll get one soon. Okay, now these two pieces that I've built are going to go on to the main bubble wrap looking structure that I have been constructing. Is this the right way around? I sure hope so. Okay, so this is gonna just go on like, like that. It just kind of clips on the top, I think. Yeah, roughly where you would expect. This is another one of those ones where like, tiny variations in all these little pieces are just making it kind of not sort of, ooh, not snap together as readily as you would like. They kind of need a little, Massaging into place. Ooh. Good, there we go. And the other side, same dealy. That's what we've got. That's got, this has got to be the sort of end piece of the bottle, right? The one who's next says, Luke, can you grow a beard? Um, I, well, I mean, yes. Uh, not a very impressive one though, to be honest, is the, is, is the, is the fact. Uh, I've never really given it like a, a good long go. Um, but you know, uh, it, it, I sort of, if, if I go a little while without shaving, uh, you know, there's a beard there for sure, but a really nice one. Mm, I don't know. I've never been that impressed with what I see one day, one day, maybe. I mean, you know, I'm getting on a bit at this point. Like, if I can't grow a beard now, it's probably never going to happen. Right. We are now at the point of... Can you see what we're doing here? We're putting in these big... We're making big moves now, folks. This is going in here. Don't ask me how, because I don't know. I guess like that? Yeah, I guess, I guess so. That leaves, can you see that leaves a tiny gap? Yeah, you can see that. Hopefully, that's okay and is all part of the plan. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Yep, I think that's, I think that's about right. Okay, good. Well, I'm pleased that we're sort of making bigger steps towards um, you know, building the bottle now. We're out of the bottleneck. <laughs> Although, of course, in actual fact, we're nowhere near building the bottleneck. Two of them. Then two more. That's just going to go on top of there, I guess. Yep. A little fragile, but I'm sure it's fine. Okay. And then two more corner pieces. It's a cornucopia. Come on. Again, this is like because there's so many like very, very small pieces involved here. This isn't like snapping uh, into place very much. Like you need to sort of do a bit of wiggling to get, ooh, to get these pieces to fit together. This, I'll tell you what though, you know, you always want to be, you see, can you see here like, for example, I'm trying, just trying to sort of fit this this piece onto this piece, but it, it is hard because it's 
clear it's just very hard to sort of see what you're doing there we go Whew. oh word right i can't wait to sort of get some lego pieces on top of this and just start sealing it in making it more solid okay now pieces on here building up these oh was that right uh, I've jumped ahead slightly there but I think I'll get away with it you go there you go on top you can see what's happening can't you right now one more corner piece and we will have This, this is going to be a little fiddly. Excuse me if I go kind of quiet. There we go. Good. <sighs> Good. go <laughs> Tan says the water's just going to come into that no wonder it doesn't float yeah okay next uh, it wants us to oh good use some of these twos and I'm eager to use up some of these twos uh, to sort of, oh yeah, to like link in and strengthen. Can you see, see that this is all very wobbly along the top, but not for long because we're going to pop a load of these two pieces um, along the edges and strengthen. The whole shooting match. There we go. Good, good, good. And you, how are we doing for time? Oh, we've been going for two, oh, we've been going for two hours. Gosh. Hmm. I wonder what the right juncture to pause is. I would like to finish the bottle, but obviously, it, you know, it looks like there's still a fair bit of bottle to go. Um, but then I don't underestimate, you know, what an undertaking the stand will be either. That looks quite significant. Well, I'm not quite bored yet, so I'll just keep going. Okay, four of those on. Right, finally, so a splash of colour is coming into the equation now. Um, two little lanterns. They go next to each other, and one of these brown pieces is just going to clip them, join them both together. Nice. That was a good snap, and then that's going to go on top here. Whew, okay. Now, surely you want me to do that a few more times. What are these? And then, then some of these clear QB pieces either side. All right, that was an easy page. Oh! ship there okay now we're just kind of building out more little glass pieces that I think are going to ultimately I feel like we kind of need to build a sort of mid middle section here uh, like around here and then then we'll use the rest of the pieces which by the way that's how many so that's how many kind of big pieces we've got left. 
Uh, you know, I feel like they will then kind of go on top of what we're building now. This is all quite... It's all quite straightforward, but I am trying to avoid the temptation to sort of rush too much because, as I was just saying, okay, so fine, good. So easy to make mistakes when you are kind of hurrying along. Uh, right now, more. Oh, you know what? I bet this is going to be where the um, ship will attach. Okay, so it goes cube piece, single on either side. Hoo, 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 that nearly caught me out. Then a cube piece on top. Yeah, good. And that brings that up. Level there, can you see that? Willy Tower says, pour yourself a drink from another bottle. <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm only drinking water, but I will have some water. I just got a huge urge to pour that water like into this bottle. <laughs> Even though, as we've established, ship does not float. It is not waterproof. Okay, next page. What do you want with me now? Okay, something similar again. Cool, and you go on there. Hoo, 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 hoo. Again, easy enough page. Suspiciously easy page, I would say. Two cube pieces. We're getting through the cube pieces. Right, now please let me strengthen the top of this because it is feeling wobbly. Yes. Use two twos. there. Just check this is nice. I just want to make sure this kind of feels nice and straight because I know at some point I'm going to have to kind of do a fiddly inserting the ship in here and kind of pressing it down onto these. So I just want to make sure that they are nice and steady, but they are. This step is do all that again. Do more of it. Build more Lego. I will. Okay, a little lantern piece. This is the last brown piece. So that is exciting. Okay. That's on there. And now take some of your little cube pieces and put a one on top of one. Do that twice. There's one. And there's two. And these clip on here, either side. Easy peasy. Ha ah, ha ha ha! Big moves now, as you can see. It's time for more big. Oh no! Something just dropped. But what? I heard it. I felt it. Oh god. Hang on. Get my phone torch out. Ah. This piece, can you see that? Uh, Nearly lost it. Whew, 
something tells me that would have been disastrous. It was a clear piece. That would have been very hard to retrieve. I was, that was that was alarming as well because I was like, I'm not 100% sure something fell. I just feel like it might have. <laughs> Sackross says, glad you didn't find it with your foot later. Yeah, me too. Okay. We are now making big bits of bottle, which is cool. Uh, fixing them with twos as we go this time. No, that's not right, Luke. Oh dear, can I get that back off? It's time for... There we go. These things are just such lifesavers, aren't they? Uh, cool, because that was supposed to be... Yeah, three across. Oh my gosh. The next stage is putting the boat in. <gasps> I didn't expect that. Oh my word. I can't believe we're at that stage. Look, here's the, here's the instructions. Okay. Well, let's just go for it. So, let's get it down on its side like this. And now take the ship. And it just... And it's going to attach so that... Now, we need to make sure I line this up correctly. So that... Temporary silence. Nonsensical chattering will resume. So that piece is kind of almost... I think that's right. I think it wants to be just there. Oh god, we've lost a mast. It's alright. Masts can be repaired. Right. Shall I show shall I show you what I'm using to line this up? For it for it to get give you a sense of how fiddly this is. Okay, let's zoom right in. Can you see here? where you can see just this little light brown piece here with the right angles. That's one of the ones attached to the bottle, right? And it's just poking out ever so slightly proud um, of the ship. And I think... I think... That's the angle I've nailed. You have to sort of, it, it looks. I think it's right. Whew. But yeah, but we've lost a mast, so I need to reattach that. Go 
gosh, that's fiddly. I mean, that looks like it's... I mean, the, okay, so <laughs> the, the challenge I'm having now is that my masts are coming up level with the top of the bottle. Which doesn't feel right to me. But how could I possibly have done it? No, I think it's okay. Oh, this is helpful. Okay. Right. See if I'd have turned over one more page. Let's zoom back out. Not that, not, I mean, not that I should have turned over one more page. I mean, it's not obvious. Here we go. Look, here's a sort of, is that to scale even? Yeah, I think so. Right, so now I can figure out. So you can see that, the, so it's okay that the masts are like the same height as the bottle. Um, although, they do look like... I mean, they are very the same height, whereas on the diagram, they're kind of coming a few millimeters lower. But. Hmm. Wait, hang on. I just sort of pushed the mask quite forcefully and gained an extra millimeter. <laughs> a little bit sketchy. I don't really like sort of applying force. Okay, right. Now let's have a proper look at this and just check if we are correct. One, two, halfway through the third unit. One, two. No, I've put it on too far back. Very fiddly, very fiddly this. It'll be worth it. It will be worth it, but. Boy, is it a little fussy. Again, sorry for the sort of total radio silence. So that one wants to be, so it wants to be slight, just, just there it is. Got it. Whew. Just kind of feeling around in the, slightly blind there. Straightening up my masts in case this is the last opportunity to Tinker with them. Ooh. Well, there we go. <laughs> the ship is going in. Look at my masts. Can you see that one is... You can see my middle mast is coming up slightly higher than this mast, and I don't really know how uh, that could be any different. Maybe I might just try and like take that mast out and just sort of give it a shove and make sure everything is snug. Yeah, it feels like it is. I think it'll be okay. If you look at the diagram, to me that the diagram suggests that this mast is a little bit higher up. So let's just keep going, keep the faith. Again, I do just want to sort of 
square these masts a little. You don't want it to look like completely, you know, uniform, but you do want it to, you do want it, you want it to look a little bit organic, but you also do want it to look as if the wind is coming through. Right, now we're going to turn the whole thing up on its end, terrifyingly, ah! uh, and keep building bottle around it. <gasps> okay, here we go. Whew. Right, let's crack on, shall we? More bottle, here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Right, two of these pieces, with which I am hauntingly familiar by this point. This is... <laughs> Fiddly. Uh, I'm sort of applying force perilously close to the masts and stuff here <laughs> okay uh, and then the same again on on the other side so let's just spin that round Whew. good Yep, and now, as we've done many times by this point, just sealing and linking. Um, yep, some of these. Not all of them, because you, as you can see, we still have half a bottle. Half a side completely exposed here. But trust in Lego. So much of Lego building is a trust exercise, in my opinion. You're just sort of trusting. This is going to come good. They know what they're doing. And while everything has come good so far, I have to say, compared to some other Lego sets I've put together, this one does... It's, it's not breaking that trust, but it is, it is straining it a little more than some other sets have done. Right, now I'm trying to just sort of get, get this piece onto here. I think it might be on already. It's very hard to tell. <laughs> Let's look at the top. Mm. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's flush. Okay, and now you. That one went on a little easier, which is pleasant. Now we're going to find out what the situation is with these tall masts is it going to be okay it here's what it wants it wants two of these pieces um I'll show you the instructions here and we're closing in we're at this point just sort of enclosing the masts And it is, can you see what I'm, can you guys see how my hands are sort of all in the way? Let's get a close zoom on this because this is, this is like weapons grade Lego. It's kind of like Jenga. If I drop this piece inside now, I will never retrieve it. Okay, and, <laughs> Okay, and the last piece is this and this is going to cover this mast and this is the one that is poking out a bit high so I'm 
concentration phase. Yeah, I think. Oh, no, hang on. Oops. There we go. There we go. Nice and gentle. I think that's on. Okay, now two of these clear pieces, we're almost in the clear, folks. Come on. There we go. And now it's just a case of using our few remaining clear pieces here to seal in and reinforce what we've done glad I had a had a sort of quick last tinker with the masts because it is very clear to me now that there would be basically no way to uh, adjust any of that stuff now Sorry, hang on. Let me zoom out a bit. There we go. Oh. All right. Well, the ship is enclosed. What's the next page? Oh, next page is. <laughs> next page is. Open bag three, which is full of 284 of these little bits, and pour them all in. Um, and then build the cork. I tell you what. Uh, and then bag yeah, and then bag four is um, everything else. Is that the last bag? Yes, but. It is the last bag, but bag four is spread across uh, sp spread across two bags. The, the building the base is going to be um, quite an undertaking. So I think maybe this is a good place to spot cause, stop because oh my gosh, it's it's coming up for half half past ten. Right. Well, I will call it there then. So next time we do this, um, which. I'm not sure when that will be. Hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll try and just try and just do it same time next week. But yeah, keep an eye on my socials and stuff um, for exactly when. Next time, we'll be pouring in all of those glorious little turquoise um, pieces, and we'll be building the um, cork, the front of the bottle, and uh, and the base. And the base contains. Uh, a secret which you may not have noticed if I zoom in check it out it's got a little compass uh, underneath the ship which is super cool so I'm really excited for that um, yeah I really want to pour in all of these uh, like turquoise bits but I just know that that will be like a really nice way to start part two so Park it for now. Uh, but this is what we've achieved. We'll do a slow rotate. That is a lot of Lego. <laughs> that is a lot of Lego. And it's coming together really nicely. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Halfbeaks, thank you very much for the super chat, says, Just been watching your Animal Crossing Oxtra stream as background while playing Elden Ring. Remember when you caught that string fish? Bay over bay. From Faith. Ah, well thank you very much, Faith. Yeah, I remember when I caught that string fish. Um, and you'll be glad to know that the bay over bay uh, in that comment is the right way round. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. Half beaks. Um, glad you're enjoying the streams and thank you for tuning in. Gentle Mandrill says this stream has been such a treat. So nostalgic. Had a great time watching and chatting with everyone just like old times. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, right. 
Paul Hayward says, thank you for the stream. Later, all stay safe, have fun. All right. Yeah, keep an eye. I'll, I'll put on Twitter and Instagram when the next one is, but I'll, I'll sort of be targeting same time next week, but it, it might be a different evening. I'm, I'm not sure. I'll take a look. I can't believe I thought I might be able to do this all in one stream. Absolutely laughable. Um, right. Thanks, folks. Have great evenings, days. Stay safe out there. Look after yourselves and each other. Take it easy. See you next time. Bye.